this is another example of solving an um, absolute value equation. It's not particularly straightforward because there's a variable inside the absolute value and a variable outside. The way I show to, t to um, solve this is through a piecewise function. And so what we're going to do is we're going to solve our equation for zero. And so we get it to look like this. And then we're going to say that this equation is going to be our function. And eventually what we're going to do is we're going to find the zeros of this function. And so in doing that, we need to rewrite the function as a piecewise function without absolute values. To do that, we a piecewise function is a function that has got a different um, equation for different pieces or different intervals for x. So those intervals come from the zero of the absolute value itself. And so when is 3x minus 2 equals zero? Well, that's at x equals 2 thirds. And so our two regions are going to be negative infinity to 2 thirds and then 2 thirds to infinity. Those are our, those are our regions. Those are our intervals that we're going to consider for this problem. And then what we do is we decide um, is 3x minus 2 positive or negative over the each individual and so interval. And so from negative infinity to 2 thirds, if you pick any value in that interval, like 0, for, let's say, you're going to find out that the value of 3x minus 2 is negative, which means we need to do the reverse of um, and take the negative of the um, value. And so the negative is just the opposite, so it's going to be negative 3x plus 2. Opposite of 3x minus 2 is negative 3x plus 2. And then we just do plus 2x minus 8. In the other interval, 3x minus 2 is positive. It's easy to show that just by plugging any value in from that inter interval. So it's going to be 3x just normal because the absolute value of a positive is a positive. And so you're going to do it like this. We simplify both of these. And that's going to give me negative x minus 6 for the, the top one. And then the bottom one is going to give me 5x minus 10. So I've got this function that is negative x minus 6 from negative infinity to 2 thirds. And then from 2 thirds to infinity, it's 5x minus 10. So now we can um, find the zeros. And so when is negative x minus 6 equals 0? Well, that's true at x equals negative 6. And when does 5x minus 10 equals 0? That's true when x equals 2. The last thing is to check to see if these solutions are actually in their intervals. Negative 6 is inside the correct in interval. 2 is inside that interval, so they both are going to be solutions. So the answer is x equals negative 6 comma 2. You could also come up here and plug the values in. If you plug 2 in, you get 6 minus 2, which is 4, plus 4 is 8. That works. Do the same thing for negative 6. You're going to get um, 6, or you're going to you're going to get 20 or negative 20 inside the absolute value. Minus 12 gives you 8 because absolute value negative 20 is 20, and 20, 20 minus 12 is 8. So these are your two solutions.